forward at the front. So close. Go on, you can do this. Yay! You've done it! <laughs> Yay! Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. As you've seen from the title, today is a Christmas instalment and a decorating the Christmas tree video. Now this is a long overdue, but due to various reasons, the Christmas tree only went up on, in fact, we only bought it on Saturday and it got decorated on Tuesday. So yes, I've been waiting to do this for so long and the day has finally arrived. So I hope you're ready because this is, I think, a very cute Christmassy video. I hope you enjoy it. So before we get into the tree decorating itself, I just wanted to show you a few of the bits that I picked up um, to decorate the tree today. There's a few bits we already had, um, so the gold tinsel and then the gold baubles just at the back there. We've, since last Christmas, changed our decor in the front room and so previously we used to have gold and red and that was always the tradition for our Christmas tree, but now we've mixed it up a little bit and because of the navy which you can just about see in here um we've gone for more kind of copper colors some silver there's some navies just off silver gold sort of colors and yeah hopefully it's all going to come together really nicely but i just thought i'd show you the bits we picked up so to begin with lights these are from I think they're from Audi. I think my mum got these. Yes. Oh, the light. Yeah, these are from Audi. So these will be the first thing I put on the Christmas tree. Next up, we have tinsel, which is normally what I put on next after the lights. Got a mix of gold sort of textures here, which we've accumulated over the years from places such as Primark, Ikea, and then the new colours that I've picked up, which is this copper and silver, are from House of Fraser. And they were £3 for each one of those. I think they're two metres long each. They were on sale at the moment. I bought them today. Um, and they are, they've got a massive sale on all their Christmas decorations. So would definitely recommend going there for some. And then the next thing, I think we're going to do sort of gold as the background colour. So these we've had for years, honestly, as long as I can remember having a Christmas tree. And they are from Ikea. Next up is this multi-pack of silver decorations. There are a few others sort of chucked in there as well. Um, but the majority are from this set, which was also from Ikea. And this is, again, a few years old. You can see a few sort of stars and snowflakes that we've chucked in there as well. But... Yeah, that's all the pl most plain baubles, I think, they are going to be the base colours. And then we're going to spice it up a little bit with some richer, more indulgent navies and burnt oranges and that sort of thing. So moving on to new decorations. This would be the first one. And this is the Mystic Glamour 30 Shutterproof Baubles from House of Fraser. And they were reduced to seven pounds. I think they were half price. Let's have a look. 
yeah, so half price they should have been 14 and I bought them today. These look like really nice colours and I think they're going to go really well in this room. Next up is this little Christmas tree of mini baubles from Primark. And these were reduced to £2 rather than 3 And again, I think these colours will go really nicely with what we've already got going. And then I also got this little it's a bauble full of baubles. And they're all the same colours as these larger ones. So I'm going to work my way up, sort of big baubles at the bottom, up to small ones right at the top. And this was £2 for those ones. So I think they're going to look really nice together. Next, got some snowflakes. So these again were from Primark and I think, yeah, these were £2. They weren't reduced. And there are actually some gold ones at the back there you might not be able to see. But that's sort of tying in with my gold and silver base colours and then I got these ones from House of Fraser if it'll focus which are that sort of almost rose goldy silvery colour and these were half price these were four pounds and you get well I don't think you get 94 in there <laughs> maybe I think there's 10 maybe more maybe 12 strange but yeah got a little snowflake I think I don't know if they're exactly the same I think they actually are like exactly the same design which would be crazy because what those were eight pounds and these were two pounds from Primark or should have been eight pounds next I've got some pom-pom baubles from House of Fraser again with five pounds reduced these are that rose goldy sort of color which I think is gonna be really nice with those snowflakes. Also from House of Fraser are these glass baubles. Um, I just think they look so pretty. They almost look a bit like figs. Like that sort of purpley colour with the texture on. They've got a really nice shimmer to them. I think they're going to look really nice. These were £7. So a bit more pricey but they are glass so I guess. Just got to be careful with those ones and then over in this corner are the final few things which i picked up so i've got two packs of these two packs which are some cute little baubles from primark these ones were reduced to a pound so we've got two packs of these nice and glittery perfect with the color theme so yeah two packs of those ones I've got some navy ones, which were £2.50, really nice. So this like blue and burnt oranges are so nice, they're going to be really like indulgent and pretty I think. Then I've got some rose goldy silvery ones. again with £2.50 got two packs of those and then these ones we already had so they're just kind of like snowballs big shimmery two of those and then we've got one kind of like a honeycomb I'm not sure where these ones are from to be honest with you I think these could be like craft fair sort of things and then the final two balls are from House of Fraser and this one's kind of got like an iridescent rainbow one, if you can see. And yeah, this one was £3, half price. And this one, again, I think was £3, which was half price as well. Yeah. So, all in all, I'm hoping we've got a good selection. Um, I'm sure we'll end up buying some more. And if I add them in, then I will add some snippets to this video at a later date but yeah i'm gonna set the camera up and show you my tree decorating so as you can see the audi lights look amazing but they're not actually as long as i thought they would be so they've only really gone around the bottom of the tree twice which is a bit inconvenient but luckily we had some other lights which were the same warm color um i think 
in fact I'm really not sure where they're from I think they're from a garden centre maybe um, so I've just gone back around the Christmas tree with those where I kind of finish with the Audi ones and then I've doubled up each time I've gone round to make them look sort of similar style to the Audi ones which are really dense with lights um, so yeah that was just a little extra that I had to add in because the Audi ones just weren't as long as I was hoping them to be Also, I hope that you are appreciating my very festive pyjamas that I'm wearing for this video. Um, you may recognise these if you've come from Laura's channel. If you haven't checked her out, it's Laura Gemma Meacham. Um, she is a YouTuber and coincidentally my boyfriend's sister, which is how I know her. Um, but we filmed a video together a couple of weeks ago where we were decorating one of her Christmas trees and we wore these matching pyjamas so I thought I would make use of them again and wear them for this festive occasion. Um, I think they're from Asda. Yeah, so Merry Grinchmas! I 
so that is it i hope you have enjoyed my decorating the christmas tree with me video and you have seen some decorations that you might like or just a different style i've not really seen many christmas trees with these sort of colors and quite like ornate um decorations it's not so like densely packed compared to other christmas trees i've seen um so yeah it's a bit different i hope you've enjoyed it of course if you have enjoyed it please like uh, if you haven't already please do subscribe really would love to get to 100 subscribers maybe before christmas would be amazing but if not before the end of this decade wow i can't believe i'm saying this um yeah so please do subscribe and look out for some exciting content coming soon i've got a few more christmasy videos to come and then obviously heading into the end of the year so watch this space because there's a lot coming thank you bye